Hi there. So it's been a couple of weeks since I did it. Uh, it my last update. I've been quite busy with work, so I haven't really had time to do a lot. But um, having said that, I've got the majority of my leaks that I'm going this year. And uh, the only thing I haven't got is uh, some comrades that I've got to pick up. So, but anyway, as you can see, there's about sixty to seventy leaks here, uh, already in different stages, and some have been putting up in the one litre airport so this year uh, on the back of last year with the airport I uh, grew quite a bit in airport last year and this year I'm gonna I think I'm gonna fully adapt this I've got quite a few airports to go at so um, we'll, we'll see as the company here, company here goes so I've got some Cumbrians and um, some Yorkshire Giants from Paul Rochester and some from Jeff Moscroft so I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket and get them from the same guy. So I've got got two different two different strains of the Yorkshire Giant. And over here I've got some Cumbrians. So the, these are these are what I've received them in. And as you can see, they're starting to grow a bit already. And some of them have now been potted up in a in a one liter airport. Um, in the airport, the grown grown medium I'm using is a. Um, Levens M2 Levens M2 yeah I'm just reading off the bag there so I'm using Levens M2 with a bit of perlite in uh, the reason I'm putting perlite in is so that the the water is um, easier to pass through the, the airport so as I say I've just built the greenhouse I haven't fully got everything sorted so I'm using the propagator later it's actually worked quite well just to mix up the compost and what have you um, mycorrhizal fungi I'm trying plant magics mycorrhizal fungi last year I used micro max kind of faulted it all but I got a free packet of plant magic so I've uh, I've just used what I've got and I've probably just revert back to mycorrhizal fungi um, from the new rig company uh, above the um, Yorkshire Giants I've got a a two foot T5 grow light. Um, today I'm going to be picking up some uh, Sun Blaster T5 strip lights. And they'll attach onto the Kira greenhouse onto the top there. It just provide um, supplementary lighting to the to the full to the full bench. So yeah, that's a plan. And on the on this side here, I'm going to build a box um, so that I can have a heat bed in the greenhouse. Um, and I'm going to cover the cover the workbenches with mylar plastic um, just to reflect what little sunlight the greenhouse gets so yeah with it with it, with a greenhouse being to be back on in the winter it doesn't get a lot of uh, natural sunlight it, the sun is starting to creep over the top there as I say it's eight o'clock in the morning so I'll get the sunlight from about half nine to around two o'clock so uh, I'm gonna stick some supplementary lighting in here. Just run on a timer. Uh, for heat, I've got a three kilowatt uh, electric fan heater down there, um, and that's that's enough to keep it above ten degrees. That's what that's what temperature I'm aiming at. So the temperature in here last night got down to eight degrees. To be honest, it's probably a little bit cold, so I just need to readjust so the lowest I need to go really is 50 Fahrenheit or 10 degrees Celsius so uh, it's not a, it's nothing to worry about it shouldn't cause any any damage to any of the plants or anything but the aim is 10 degrees so that's a uh, um, on the only in front so I'll step back again sorry I'm trying to get through it a bit quicker than what I can so I've got a um, I've got a grow box here grow that tent and what I've got in here is this year's onion attempt. So I've got about three three dozen um, onions potted up in here, I think. I think it's three dozen or sixty or whatever. Um, so the idea with the straws here is just to break it up into three um, three different strains of the giant onion. And the the um, straws are just colour coded so that I don't know who's assuming I've got it written down. So this is a batch that I sowed two weeks ago. 
Uh, this is a batch of sword four weeks ago and out of that out of that lot there I've potted some of them up in the one litre air pot. Um, so we'll see we'll see how they get on. They're starting to get the, the first two two leaf on. They're a bit behind where I want them to be but it's always the case. You always want them to be bigger than what you've got. Um, as far as grow lights go this year, I have got a Maxi Bright 315 DLA. And that light is the closest thing that you can get to sunlight. Um, so I've been told. And the reviews from it are fantastic. And also, I've seen the proof in the pudding of them, and they do grow big onions. So now I've also got a T5. T5 four tube strip light in there, uh, just just above the um, the seedlings there. So that's uh, that's a bit of a quick update for the new greenhouse, and um, I hopefully should be popping a few more videos out over the next couple of weeks. So that's it. Thanks for watching.